Hello everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to another card making video for you today using our amazing Love It Chop It system and Love It Chop It to Pieces if you're going to make it smaller. If you have not seen my Love It Chop It video to help you with this phenomenon, it's like epic now. I've gone viral on the internet. No, not really. <laughs> Viral for me. <laughs> but thank you all so much for your lovely comments, for all the new subscribers that are here on YouTube. If you know someone that would be interested in that system, please continue to share. The other thing that I wanted to point out today are my card templates, which are also being very popular. Uh, they have been downloaded quite a number of times and I just want to let you know with the card templates there will be updates so I will continue to add more layers so that we have more options and we can crack the code of international measurements so that we know exactly what measurements are going to work for us in our country with our cardstock and that's really important. So today we are at a wedding. I've pre-recorded this video. When this goes live, Bruno and I will be hopefully partying on the dance floor because our lovely friends, Jamin and Sophie, are getting married. Let me show you a picture of them because they're so stinking cute. You have to see these two. You ready? Oh my goodness, how adorable are they? You want to eat them? They're so cute. So we are going to be having a lot of fun celebrating their wedding. And I'm very excited because I've known Sophie since she was very young. We've been very good friends for a long time. She thinks she was about 13 or 14 when I first met her. So to see her as a blossoming young lady and marrying such a lovely man, it's very exciting. Now, one of the things that I thought I would do making Sophie and Jamin's card. Firstly, I know that Sophie absolutely adores pink. She's a pink fan. I am not, but she is. So I will... I will you know, take one for the team <laughs> and use some petal pink today. But also what inspired me, I thought, you know, what color combination am I going to go for? And why am I going to do this? Like, I love having a why for a reason. Is there some sort of connection? Is there something that, yeah, is going to really um, help me to start card making? Because sometimes you just draw a blank. It's like, where do I even begin? So this is my inspo today. Let me show you a picture. So this gorgeous country road blanket, it is quite a big blanket. It doesn't look like it in the picture, but this is actually Jamin and Sophie's gift, wedding gift. And I looked at this and I thought I would never, ever in my life put together these colors. And I have gone for Sahara sand, crushed curry and petal pink. Yes. Can you believe it? Who would have thought of that combo? Unless, of course, I bought a gift that had that combination in it. So this is her beautiful, and a Jamin's of course, but you can tell this is something that Sophie picked. <laughs> so you can see in here, and it could even be a smoke slate if you wanted to use that, but I thought, you know what? My Sahara sand has not had much love lately and I've got to give it some love. But yeah, with the smoky slate, it would be just as gorgeous. And that was very petal pink to me and very crushed curry, but you could do like an option that's similar. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think it's so, so gorgeous. So let's have a look. I'm going to jump on in. I'm doing a very quick video today. Just a bit of chatter beforehand. But I want to show you because I've pre-cut everything. And I have it all ready to go. Oh, split screen. Everyone's loving the split screen. It's Switcher. I get a lot of questions about it. <laughs> Switcher Studio. You may Google it. So let's have a look at these layers. The first one I started with, and I've already started gluing. <laughs> I started with my crushed curry, then I went whisper white, then I did my Sahara sand. Now, if you have my card templates, you will know that you can just go to your card templates and these are the measurements. The base is the gorgeous grape. The whisper white is going to be your melon mambo base. If you don't have my card template tutorial, there are links below, or you can ask a question if you can't find them and I'll give you the link. And then we have the Sahara Sand, so that's going to be a flirty flamingo layer. Now, someone did ask me why didn't I number them or letter them like A, B, C, D. And I've suddenly realized why I didn't today, because I'm going to be adding more and they're going to be in between these layers. So what a disaster if I had have layered them. 
<laughs> or numbered them, I mean. I would have been like, oh no. <laughs> so it's good that they're colors. So just refer to the colors. And the interesting thing, and I will quickly just mention this because we need a lot of education on this and we need to educate our new customers, our new stampers, um, new demonstrators, because this is something that we don't quite understand. And it's the year of um, simple stamping, but I want to do hashtag stamping simple because we've got to really understand our first thing, which is getting our card layers or even our how to cut our card. So you have to understand that in Canada and the US, they have letter cardstock, 8.5 inches by 11 inches. It is different to the rest of the world. So if you see a tutorial from an American demonstrator that is using inches, do not follow their tutorial because it will really muck up your cardstock and you won't get the most out of your cardstock. So what you need to do is look at their card, have an idea with my card templates, they're going to help you unlock what they have made because the card is it's wider and shorter here in Australia we use a4 well basically the rest of the world other than the US and Canada we all use a4 cardstock which means that it's completely different measurements so there are an interesting group of people that even though a4 cardstock is metric I've learnt since I've done these card templates that there are people that use A4 cardstock with inches, three types of people. So in that case, I have card templates for the three types. We have inches for letter people, which is the US and Canada. Then we have inches for A4, which is the rest of the world and metric for A4. So you just have to pick the right one for you. Now this will help you with a lot of frustration. I was talking to a customer just this week who said she's never ever been able to feel confident cutting her cards because she keeps ruining them. And we realized that she was following American demonstrators and cutting it the same way they said, and it was a disaster. So we don't want disasters. We want you to feel confident and excited about your card making, especially this first step, which is just cutting your cardstock. So please have a look at those templates. Now, the next layer that I'm going to use, and I'll show you exactly what I've done here. I've got our beautiful, here's our Love It Chop It, our beautiful um, floral romance uh, vellum. This paper is stunning. Now, what I have done with my Love It Chop It, and many of you have seen this, Sarah Berry has these cases as well. I have a few that I have added in. I'm trying to get this light away a bit. Sorry, it's not, I'll just tilt this. There we go. <laughs> so, um, you can get these case inserts. So we've used the Stampin' Up! cases, which are on page 206 of your annual catalog. They come in a pack of four for the clear mount and I think the same, yeah, I think the same in the wood. Yes, pack of four. So you can get wood mount or clear mount and you can just put these inserts into your card. And the cool thing is, is you can see it from the spine. You can see the colors. So everything that you need is here. Now, if you know the Love It Chopper principle, it is to cut your designer series paper down into card front sizes. Um, and this just makes life a whole lot easier. So I made a little mistake with this one, but I know that it's going to get used. What's that word? Used. <laughs> I've already had two coffees. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> so it is just a really great way of seeing your paper. And there's a lot more chance that you're going to use your designer series paper when it's all pre-cut and ready to go for your cards. Please note this does not work for scrapbookers and for people who do 3D projects. For those of you that do 3D projects and scrapbooking though, you could maybe just cut half the pack and keep the other half for your other projects. So don't discount it. If you are chopping your paper and you're happy with your measurements, fantastic. But for the rest of the world, you are probably the 1% that cut your designer series paper because for majority of us, we have real fears about cutting and using our designer series paper because it's too pretty. I don't want to use it. No, you need to use it. We need to get over this issue because you wait till you see this card. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, why aren't I, use, aren't I using my paper? So here is the beautiful floral romance. And this layer here, I have got both the designer, well, the vellum and also a 
piece of whisper wipe that I've put behind it just so that it really makes that pattern pop. We don't want it to disappear with the Sahara sand. So this is going to be your Daffodil Delight layer if you have my templates. So there's your layers. So have a look in your coordinating measurements and you have unlocked the code of my measurements in your country. We're talking the same language for once. Isn't that exciting? Now, this took me forever to work out. I'm going to show you because sometimes you watch these videos and you're like, oh my goodness, how do they do that? Like I take forever to work out what to do. So this is how many different, <laughs> and I think there's even more over there actually, but these are all the different thinlets that I cut and went, mm, yeah, do I like that? Because I'm very visual, hence why I have the card templates, because I need to see it to, to really know if it's invoking some sort of joy in me if I like it. I did like the crush curry on there. It was it was almost a favorite. Um, the basic black was stunning too, but I thought I really want to keep true to my picture and only just add in that one neutral, that just little bit of whisper white to sort of um, help them sort of merge with one another because they looked very contrasty. So I like the whisper white, it just softens everything down. So the one that I ended up going with was this beautiful Sahara sand uh, one. And this framelit, by the way, is from our Flourish dies, Thinlets dies. This is from the annual catalogue. Remember to keep loving your annual catalogue. Don't, don't miss out on that. So this could be something that you could get and then still get some celebration items. We've got 12 days, well, as of today. By the time you get this video, it's going to be like 10 days left of celebration, which is just ridiculous. So this is just beautiful. You want to have a look at that thin, those thinlets if you haven't got them yet. And I put them on magnetic sheets, which you can find on eBay or probably Amazon for some of you. Now, one thing that's really important when using the thinlets is to make sure that you use your multi-purpose adhesive sheets. It's really good having them pre-cut. I've loved and chopped these as well because it's really good having them in this size because then they're ready to go for all the little pieces that come along as well. I've got a few extra little pieces here that I've cut. So all the pieces that I've chopped can go on the front because then I've got, you know, a stash of little ones and this is one pack this is how much you get in one pack which is really great value so don't be afraid to use quite a bit of these um, adhesive shit sheets don't feel like you have to hold back um, we're such hoarders we're like oh I don't want to use it then I'll run out no you will not run out and if you do run out uh, you have permission to buy more so these are fantastic I just cut them down even though I don't necessarily have the peel here bit Sometimes I cut it down, even in this section here, and it's a little bit fiddly, but just use your um, picker tool or your snips to just lift that up on the edge and you'll be able to pull them apart. Now, another tip, and I'll show you this on a uh, piece of cardstock that I have over here somewhere. Yes, here we go. I'm like, there has to be a little scrappy piece over here. Actually, this will show it perfectly. Oh, it's like it was ready for me. So it's really important that you put the adhesive, and you can see here that I haven't done the entire thing, and that's fine, um, because there will be plenty of stick here. Um, what's really important is to make sure you put it on the back, right? Because what I did one time was go, oh, I'm just going to cheat. Like, that's the section that I want. I'll just get my thinlet, and it, and it was actually word thinlet too. And I put it here to cut out. Now, there's two things that happen. With the word, it's the wrong way around, so just be careful of that. And also with the thinlets, the cut is always the nicest at the front. So this is gonna be the back, right? So we wanna do the front. You wanna go front. So don't sort of think you're finding a, a cheat's way of cutting because the cut won't be as nice. So that's my little hint with the multi-purpose sheets, and I learned that because I made a big boo-boo. That's the best way we learn, isn't it? So don't, don't learn from doing a big mistake. <laughs> now, our sentiment. What sentiment are we going to use? So I've got my thinlet. I've got this layer here. Well, let's stick this down because we're happy with this one. I use my Tombow glue to stick down my layers. And I don't use a huge amount. Some people were a bit surprised that I use Tombow, but I've never had an issue with um, maybe because I use so many layers too. 
don't know, but I've never had an issue with bubbling. Even with the vellum, I will tell you now, and you can have a look at this nice and close. I'll zoom in. I used Tombow directly on here. Direct, not even with sponging. And that's come up really, really good. If I rub my hand over it, I can feel tiny little bumps, but you can't see them whatsoever. I was a little bit less... You know, like a little bit more careful with it, but I was very, very happy with that result because a lot of us think, oh, what are we going to use to stick down our vellum? The other option is to make use of your multi-purpose adhesive sheets, and that's a fantastic way to stick down vellum as well. So that's another use for this. And I have these um, inserts on my, and you'll see it uh, in the links below. I have it on my little store my separate it's separate to my Stampin' Up! store so if you're looking for my Stampin' Up! store please ask this store is like our own little separate thing to put all our retired list and tutorials and all that sort of thing so now we're going to come in with I've picked a stamp set that I thought was absolutely perfect for this card today and it had no ink it had no love so I thought no I really need to give this some love so I've got the to have and to hold and I just thought that this Mr. and Mrs. was just the most beautiful script here and these beautiful flowers here so this is what I did with my stamping and I used my Stamparatus to get that lined up perfectly um, basically with the sentiments I just uh, laid down a piece of cardstock and then I just eyeball where I want it to go and then when when it's in place I just sort of Give it a little bit of movement just so that it's straight and then it's happy days i've found that that's really really good for sentiments um is to just sort of shift it slightly on the grid and you know where the grid is here so it's a really great way of using the stamparatus too so here is our sentiment that i have made isn't that just beautiful so in the corners i've done the sahara sand and just slightly stamped that, even this one here, I missed a little bit. And I thought, oh, I actually like that. <laughs> I like those little mistakes sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, oh, I've got to start again. So I've put dimensionals already on there. And I've already put adhesive sheet on here. So I'll just show you what you will find with these um, framelits is some of the I actually like it. Oh, it's very sticky, this adhesive sheet. And this is very, very gentle. You have to be very, very kind to this. Um, what I have found is sometimes the little bits sort of stay in the leaves. And you, you can work it, you know, with the brush, get the um, Big Shot brush and take them out. But I actually like some of them sort of staying in there. I like the little accent that it adds. Uh, but that's entirely up to you. And I decided to go to the left hand side. I had it in the center, but I just found that, yeah, it wasn't pleasing to my eye. That's usually my gauge. I start moving it around. I go there, there, there. Oh, yes, there. And then I'm happy. I'm like, stick it down. Don't think too long. Just stick it. <laughs> and then we've got our beautiful banner. So I just wanted to cover that bottom stem. And that will be our beautiful little banner there for Mr. and Mrs. Isn't that just gorgeous? And I love that the font is just so elegant and lovely and the flowers and they just go perfectly with that floral romance vellum. And then inside I had a little piece left over from the top here and along the side. So what did I do with that? <gasps> Nothing gets wasted with love it, chop it to pieces. Everything can be used. There is no wastage and that's probably... For a lot of us, that was our biggest fear with designer series paper. No more fear. The fear is gone, which is exciting. So we'll put this on the inside because I love decorating my inside of the car. And you can see that this is very, very simple. And for those of you who have my card template, the size that I've used in the middle is the Poppy Parade layer. So your Poppy Parade layer is the inside of your card. I use this layer a lot for a lot of things. So, so there's our inside. And then the top little section here at that I cut off, it too cannot be wasted, right? Let's put it on the envelope. 
look at that, just a small little accent. And even if you wanted to, you could probably create a little banner or something like that. But I just love that. I think that's just so simple and elegant. And then no piece of this layer has been wasted. So I've got this sheet here that I, I grabbed that was pre-cut. And every single bit, even the top and the edge that I cut, has been used. Yes. I know. It's amazing. I'm telling you, you need to look at Love It Chop It if you haven't already. Because we waste a lot. And then we look at our paper. When I used to look at my designer series paper that had been hacked at and it was back in its bag and it was partly 12 by 12 and partly scraps and it did not invoke any joy in me whatsoever, as Con Murray would say. No joy. No joy. Whereas this, I see these little pieces and they give me joy. I actually see potential in them rather than feeling like it's super messy. It's like, oh no, I'll use that for an envelope or inside my card. Like no piece will be left behind. <laughs> Hunt for the Wilder People quote for anyone who's watched that movie. <laughs> so that is our stunning card today. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing how we can one, use our gifts as a bit of color inspo. And also that we are very excited about being at a wedding today. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so excited. And it's very random. It's on a Thursday. I know it's very different. It's Wednesday for some of you. Uh, but I've had a lot of fun doing this beautiful card for Sophie and Jamin because they're a beautiful couple. And I'm really excited that it matches their present. We shall see if she noticed. There's another word that I'm, I'm not just making up words today. We'll see if she notices. I can't believe I'm trying to learn Hindi. I don't even know how to speak English. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited. Here's our beautiful card. <laughs> There's my screenshot. Thank you for being here for my screenshot. All about saving time. If you have any questions for me, any comments, tell me where you're from. Tell me if this is the first time watching my videos. Tell me if you've subscribed. And if you have questions, please ask. I love answering all your questions. I mean, it takes a long time, but I love it. I sit in bed. Bruno's like, what are you doing? I'm working. Totally working. Like answering YouTube comments. <laughs> but I have a lot of fun hearing from you all. So please let me know. Where are you from? Are you a demonstrator? Are you a customer? How long have you loved Stampin' Up! for? And are you trying my love at Chop It? I want to hear how you're going. I'm getting the most amazing messages that some people are chopping their paper for the first time in 20 years. There was one lady, she showed me a picture. It was like this stack, like almost as tall as a person. So it's very, very exciting. We're going to have a lot of cards spread around the world. And if you don't know what to do with all of your cards, please come and join our Random Act of Kindness group. Links will be below because then you can spread the love to other people. Some who just need some really, um, like some encouragement. We've got a friend just around the corner, fell over in like a little hole in the, in the sidewalk on the path and um, broke both of her legs. And it's just devastating. It's like seven month rehab. So for someone like that to receive a card, and it might be really, really simple, like a love it, chop it card where you've just done designer series paper, no layers, just designer series paper and thinking of you. And that card can make such a difference to someone's life. So please think about sending as many cards as you can around the world. We have thousands of pen pals that we have the opportunity to send to and I think that that's so exciting because the cards that I receive it just brightens our day when we get cards Bruno's like oh oh another random act of kindness card like we love it so be part of it and remember this year my motto is there is more happiness in giving than receiving so if you're feeling a little bit down in the dumps if you're feeling a bit sad then give Give. How can you give? Make some cards and send them and you will feel a lot happier. Even if you don't hear a reply, know that that card has made a difference because if you don't hear a reply, it probably means you've sent it to the right person and they're going through a really tough time. It could be cancer treatment. They could be so unwell. There was another lady that emailed me the other day that I'm sending a card to in Ireland. She'd had a major accident. Like there's people going through stuff. So let's spread some joy. 
be part of our random act of kindness and part of the hashtag love it chop it movement and hashtag love it chop it to pieces and use your hashtags everywhere so good to see you today everyone and if you have anything to say make sure you put it below and please subscribe and click on the bell so you get notifications bing kylie's gone she's put a video on bing <laughs> see you everyone